large group of uh, onlookers not willing to leave in hopes of spotting the shuttle carrier aircraft and shuttle Endeavour once again. And back at NASA's shuttle landing facility, midfield location, the onlookers, the invited guests, members of the media, await a return pass of this shuttle carrier aircraft. Again, after it completes its 20-minute flyover of the Space Coast area, it will return to Kennedy and make a one last low pass over the same runway from which it departed, heading the opposite direction and only 200 feet above the ground. That will be its farewell to Kennedy Space Center as it takes off again and heads towards toward Houston, Texas for a uh, stopover en route to California. After Endeavour completes this flyover and departs the Kennedy Space Center area, it will turn west and head over Titusville and toward Orlando. And weather permitting, it will make a pass over Orlando International Airport and Walt Disney World. And then continue on across the panhandle of Florida before it makes low passes at about 1,500 feet above the ground over NASA's Stennis Space Center where all the shuttle engines were tested for flight. That's in Mississippi. And the Michoud Assembly facility east of New Orleans, which oversaw the manufacture and testing of all external tanks. Those flyovers are expected about two hours to two hours and 15 minutes after takeoff, which again unofficially was 7.22 a.m. Eastern Time. Endeavour and the shuttle carrier aircraft then will continue on to Houston, Texas, arriving in the area at around 9 a.m. Central Time. It will conduct a flyover of many Houston area landmarks and land at about 10.45 a.m. Central Time at Houston's Ellington Field near the Johnson Space Center. Once our coverage of Endeavour's departure is complete, we expect that NASA television will begin coverage of Endeavour's arrival in Houston at about 10.20 a.m. Central Time, 11.20 a.m. Eastern Time. In Houston, the shuttle carrier aircraft is expected, weather permitting, to perform low-level flyovers of various areas, including downtown Houston, Reliant Park, the San Jacinto Monument, the Fred Hartman Bridge in Baytown, and then the Johnson Space Center in the Clear Lake area. In Houston, at Ellington Field, after the aircraft is parked and safed, ropes will be set up about 100 feet from the shuttle carrier aircraft, allowing the public to get quite a close view. And here we see the shuttle carrier aircraft once again. In Houston, viewing at Ellington Field will be open until about 9 p.m. Central Time or 10 p.m. Eastern Time this evening.
Shuttle Carrier Aircraft Commander Jeff Moultrie at the controls, Bill Rickey, his pilot, Henry Taylor, Gary Ash, and Larry LaRose, the flight engineers, as Endeavour and the Shuttle Carrier Aircraft head northbound back toward the Kennedy Space Center. Residents of the Space Coast seeing quite a magnificent sight this morning. And while residents of the Space Coast have had an opportunity to see such ferry flights in the past, knowing that this is the final one makes it even extra special. We're looking at, uh, at the shuttle carrier aircraft from a camera mounted on the vehicle assembly building here at Kennedy as it returns once again for a low pass over the shuttle landing facility. And the pilots descending from 1,500 feet to 200 feet, approaching the runway. The aircraft flying around the Kennedy Space Center, giving workers one final view. An added treat, courtesy of the shuttle carrier aircraft commander Jeff Moultrie and his team. View once again from the shuttle landing facility as the shuttle carrier aircraft and Endeavour make their approach. Descending toward runway 33 at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Once again, a view from the top of the Vehicle Assembly Building. A view familiar as we've watched many a shuttle landing over the years. This time, not a landing, but a low flyover and a goodbye to Kennedy Space Center from the Shuttle Carrier Aircraft and Space Shuttle Endeavour.
tip of the wings and a fond farewell as Space Shuttle Endeavor heads toward the West Coast and its new home at the California Science Center in Los Angeles. And Space Shuttle Endeavour, atop NASA's shuttle carrier aircraft, makes its way out of the airspace around Kennedy Space Center, heading west toward Orlando. It's expected to, weather permitting, make a flyover of Orlando International Airport and Walt Disney World before heading further west, conducting low flyovers of NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi and the Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans before arriving in Houston, Texas for a stopover, a planned leg on its ferry flight across the country to Los Angeles International Airport. It's scheduled to arrive at Los Angeles Airport on Friday between 11 and noon, where a, uh, an arrival ceremony will take place between 11 a.m. and 1 o'clock Pacific time. During the cross-country ferry flight, Social media users will have an opportunity to share their Endeavor sightings with the hashtags pound spot the shuttle and pound OV-105, Endeavor's vehicle designation, and post pictures as well. And this will conclude our coverage of Space Shuttle Endeavor's departure from Kennedy Space Center. NASA television will provide coverage of Endeavor's arrival in Houston at approximately 10.20 a.m. Central Time or 11.20 a.m. Eastern Time.